Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just over here looking at this $157.45 Subaru OEM footwell illumination kit that uh, only appears to come in red and blue and is only for the front. Yeah, don't do that. Don't buy that kit. That is stupid. I'm going to show you what you can do. I've done this on every single car I've ever owned. I've always gotten compliments on it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But if you're like me and you love it and the interior is way too dark for you, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this on the cheap and it looks really, really, really nice. So what I'm going to be installing today is a footwell illumination kit that I paid $50 for. And I'm going to show you how to install it. And here's the kicker. You can buy it in any color that you want and you can do the front and the back seats for $50. That's a no-brainer, right? Um, a lot of people forget that you have back seats. So it's nice to have the back seats lit up with the front seats. It just makes sense in a four-door car, doesn't it? Anyways, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I went to our trusty Walmart, and I've always used Walmart for my LED strips because when you buy them on eBay, a lot of times, number one, they get extremely hot. When you buy LED strips on eBay, if you've ever like touched them, they just about burn your hand. And so when you install them with 3M tape or anything like that, they get so hot that a lot of times the 3M tape fails and they fall down. Uh, another thing is that the a lot of the ones on eBay are just really cheap. You can buy them for like $10 for a pack of four or, or even cheaper. I bought them for like a pack of four for like $5 already. And when something's that cheap, you just got to be a little wary of it. So I go to Walmart. I buy these. I'll get you a close up. These are actually new. They just hit the market and I really like them because they're stealthy. They don't look like a typical LED strip, which you'll see here in a second. They actually are a nice, solid strip of LEDs. They're very small LEDs, and they have this black strip on either side of them to kind of prevent you from seeing the individual LEDs. It looks really nice. You're not going to see them because they're going to be up under the dash anyway, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to bring you guys in here. We'll show you how to install this. Some LED strips from Walmart. And like I said, these are very nice. You can see, you can barely tell that they're LED strips you see all those small individual leds it almost looks like one solid strip of light these were 22 dollars a piece and we got two of them so 44 dollars. we got four strips for 44 dollars. so we're going to unscrew our shift knob we're going to sit that aside we're going to pull up and i'm doing all this one-handed look at this this will just show you how easy this is we're going to pull this up take it out bonus if you guys have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and it's still wired and you don't have like a wireless adapter, you can actually tuck your wire underneath that like I just did, run it all the way back, and then you can bring your wire out in here like this. Really nice. It's all just ran underneath here. Um, so now we're going to grab our e-brake cover and pull up on that. And then we're going to pull up on this panel here. Again, I'm doing this all one-handed just to show you guys how easy this is. We're gonna lift up on this and just push this out of the way. So before you get too concerned, just know I'm gonna be showing you two types of wiring. One where you don't have to do any wiring and you just plug it into your cigarette lighter. I'm gonna show you how to run that, how to hide the wires. And then I'll show you the more advanced option if you want to hardwire it in and have the lights come on as soon as you turn the car on every single time. If you do not want to hardwire anything and you just wanna plug these into your cigarette outlet and you want it to be as hidden as possible, do not use the front outlet. We're going to go all the way to the back outlet. We're going to open this up and we will plug this in. Boom. Just like that. We got a nice little toggle switch right on the button to turn these on and off. You're going to be faced with a couple of issues with this though. Number one, the wires may not be long enough to get anywhere that you want them. So um, it might look like we got a lot of wiring there, but we might not and we might have to extend it. So if you end up unraveling all this wire and you don't have enough to get to the front where you want it you may have to extend the wire and if we want to install all four led strips we're still going to have to cut and splice into this wiring here to continue to use this for all four because the ones over there are going to come with their own plug and they're not going to work over here so if you want to install all four on this you're still going to have to cut and splice you just won't have to cut and splice into factory wiring you'll cut and splice into this harness so I originally was gonna hard install this and now I might change my mind. So I think I am going to just tap both sets into this. And then if I wanna turn them off, it's really easy. Down here, you're gonna see this OEM connector. I'm honestly not sure what this is for. This is probably for the OEM footwell illumination kit. Um, anytime you see pink like this on the new Subarus, 
it's nine times out of 10, a JDM uh, plug and play harness. So that's why it's just here all taped up with pink tape. And you can see I've already cut a piece of the pink tape to get access to this plug. So with more of these wires exposed, just know that if you want to use this connector, you can cut into that green wire and use that as your power and cut into the black wire and use that for your ground, or you can run T-taps, whatever you're comfortable with. So if you're good with wiring, all you need to do is cut the green wire, cut the black wire, splice in. It's really not difficult. So to get our LED strips and the wiring to the back seats, I am actually going to be moving the center console a little bit. Unfortunately, I didn't want to have to do this, but it's not a big deal. So we slid the passenger and driver's seat forward, and on both sides, you're going to see this little tab. We're going to remove that with a flathead screwdriver, and there will be a 10 millimeter bolt on either side holding this thing in. So we can go ahead and remove those. So once you have both of those removed, you'll be able to see that you can lift up the center console. It will come unclipped from the left side, but here on the right side, we're going to have this one Phillips head screw that we need to remove. And once we have removed that screw, we can pop open our center console and unplug this and we can actually pull the whole center console away and kind of out. And then you will see that there's a connection here that we have to unplug. And then we should be able to just pull this entire thing out. So with the center console out now, we can get to the back seats. I do have these already removed and all we need to do actually is just pull out on these tabs. So you just pull straight out you'll kind of feel under the seat till you feel these tabs, pull straight out and it'll release just like the VA chassis. And we can pull this whole back seat out. There is an airbag that you'll have to unplug. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna fold the seat up for now and just kind of let it sit in here. But this is gonna help us get to where we need to be. There is one plastic tab that goes in here that I did remove just to get a little bit more wiggle room. Now this is gonna be a little tricky, but I promise you, it's going to be so much worth it when you don't have any wires visible. So we already cut our wire for the LED strips. You can see we cut it off of the plug on the rear set. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the whole LED strip through this carpet. We're going to basically push it in right here and we're just going to run it back. And then we should be able to reach down and grab it with our hand. I'm going to lift up on this carpet as much as I can and try to slide this back. Okay, I can see it and grab it. Ah, I almost got it. We gotta do this twice. I got it, I just gotta pull it out. Oh, look at that, okay, so. We want to route this just enough to get this kind of in the middle of the seat. So I just need a piece of the strip to be about long enough to reach there. So we have to do this one more time for our second LED strip. We're just gonna pull up on this carpet, feed this one through. Reach down there and grab it. Oh, of course, the second one is a lot easier. Now we're gonna run this to the passenger side, make sure we have enough and feed the rest up front. So we are going to remount the seats, slide that in and it clipped down in place. Now we have our LED strips here. And what I'm gonna actually do, this is how I did it with my last WRX and the 3M tape won't actually stick to the fabric. So we're gonna actually super glue this. Even if the super glue absolutely destroys the fabric, you're never gonna see it. It's on the bottom of the seat. You could add it to the back underside of the uh, front and rear seats, however they move, and you would have to worry about the wiring potentially getting caught up somewhere. And it's difficult to run wiring across and still hide it, whereas this, completely under the carpet, you'll never see it once everything's all back together. So what I'm gonna do now is take the 3M sheeting off, we will kind of put a line of glue, a very small gel line of glue across the LED strips and glue them up underneath, give them a little bit of time to rest before we actually fire everything up. But that's why we're doing the back first. But here we go. Um, well, that 3M tape's not on there very well. Loctite super glue with gel control and the gel control is gonna make this a lot easier. Liquid glue would probably make this a nightmare. So I'm gonna start pushing this on. Uh, you'll see the light, but you won't see where it's really coming from. 
um, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So don't worry, I haven't done any cutting or splicing of the wires yet. This is just testing the front. The rear still needs to be spliced into the connector. So real quick, I wanna show you how I have the wiring. I'll show you how I have the LEDs mounted. The reason I didn't record all that is because it might just be difficult to try and record all of that. Um, but I'll show you exactly where it's ran. So the wires start, obviously you saw how we ran the back seat wires. Here they are coming up from the back seat underneath the carpet and underneath the center console. So you saw how I already ran these. We do still have to splice those into these wires here. However, we have the wires coming off this connector. We have enough slack in them. The wires just run across the floor here. They go underneath this subsection. They go underneath this carpet. And you can see them here beside the shifter. These are the two wires for the LEDs. What I'm gonna do is there is a free hole right here. We're just gonna take a zip tie and zip tie these two wires right to that bracket. We'll zip tie them there so that they don't move around at all. And that should be it. That's all we have to do. We don't need any other zip ties. The wires are running up. Basically, I pulled back with my hand on this panel, just like this. I can stick my entire hand up there. Um, so I just pulled back on this a little bit and I slid one of the LEDs down through here until it fell out of the side. I pulled that LED strip out and around and I put it up here. There is a, let me turn the lights off so you can see better. So if we go under here and we are looking straight up at that LED strip, here you can see the LED strip right here. There is actually a nice flat spot that runs all the center section here to attach it and it is underneath this part of the dash. So this part of the dash here, if we would have taped it right here on this edge, you would have been able to see the LED strip. So because it's just set back a little bit further, right here, you can see my finger is now on that LED strip. It's kind of hidden by this piece of plastic right here, so it is not visible. Now, if we come around here to the passenger side, I did the exact same thing. I just pulled on this panel, ran the strip down, and then I pulled it out and under. So now on the passenger side, it's a little bit more tricky because we obviously, when you see this piece right here, this is a nice flat spot on the bottom of the glove box to run the LED strip. However, the problem with that is it's very, very, very visible. So the best spot that I found is actually a little interesting. So it might look like this LED strip is all kinds of funky. Let me go ahead and turn it on. So if you see it on, you can see it's kind of all over the place. It's really wavy. It doesn't really look right. But what's happening here is on this panel here, there's these plastic tabs that go back and I might add a zip tie right here to double secure it, right here to double secure it, and then somewhere in here. But this is actually glued to the wire harness, just one big main wire that runs to the blower fan that I'll probably never need to touch in my life. And if I do, I'll just rip it right off. It's not a big deal. But there's one little piece glued to the wire right there. You can see this is all kind of free. Um, but it's tucked up and then the LED strip is glued to these tabs and then it comes up and actually goes through this hole in the panel. And now comes the part that some of you might be scared about, which is the wiring. And I promise you, it's not bad. So on the plug here, we have a black and white wire and a black wire on each side. So we have two black and whites and two blacks. The black and whites are power and the black is ground. On the LED strips, we have the same thing, obviously. We just cut them off of there. So we have one of the rear LED strips right here. We have another one of the rear LED strips right here. We have one of the front LED strips right here and one of the front LED strips right here. So what we're gonna do, I will show you. It really doesn't matter. Um, as long as all of your black and white wires are connected and all of your black wires are connected, it will be just fine. We have all of our wires here. I have spliced every single one of them. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take every single one of our black and white wires from the plug. So we have two of them coming off the plug. So black and white, black and white. We're gonna take these two, get them together like this. Then we will take our black and white wire from the back and our second black and white wire from the back. We're not gonna use the front wires just yet. We're gonna take these and we are going to grab all of these like this 
and we're going to twist all of these wires together. Then we are going to take the black and white wire from the front of the car on the one side and the black and white wire from the front of the car on the other side, so the passenger and driver side, and we'll twist those two together. So I have a piece of heat shrink here and I'm going to slide this down. What this is going to do is help keep our wires together and keep them weatherproof. So we're going to slide that over top of these two wires that we connected. I'm going to now take these two wires together and I'm going to twist them up religiously. Somebody's calling me. Then we're going to slide this heat shrink over top just like that. So now that we have all of our black and white wires all together in the heat shrink, we're going to heat up this heat shrink. Just try not to get one area too hot. This is going to perfectly seal our wires. We have all of our black and white wires all connected in this heat shrink. We're good to go. Now we can do the same thing with our black wires. And we are now good to go. We can take some zip ties, we can tuck this wiring, uh, run some zip ties, however we want to do it. There's a little bit of carpeting here. There's some stock wiring that we can zip tie this all to to keep it nice and neat. So now you can see that we have our wires zip tied to that little bracket I told you about. The wires are zip tied here to the factory wiring and they're zip tied back here to the factory wiring. And then they are ran up here. This is my phone cord wire and then these are the wires for this plug. Both ran up to uh, either side of this hole. And now we're just gonna take our cup holder. We're gonna plug it back in. So we got our cup holder plug plugged back in. We can sit this back. We're going to have to lift up on this e-brake cover to kind of get this to sit where we want it. And then as long as both of those wires are on either side of that hole, we can push down, clip this bad boy into place. And as you can see, it clipped on there just fine, even with all those wires ran in there. We can close that up. We can push down on our e-brake boot and re-clip it in. We can re-clip in our shifter trim. And we are all set. The entire center console is back in place. Now we can press our auxiliary button. Boom. All of our lights are now on. Super, super, super clean install. Again, no wires visible once we clean out the car and get rid of all the junk. It'll look like we never did anything. I wanted to show you the final look at the interior. You can see there is no wiring visible anywhere. The only wiring you see there is that one wire for my Android phone cord. Again, you don't need to do that. That's just a little bonus that I was showing you. You take a look in the back seat, you'll see no wires, no neon strips. Everything is completely hidden. So now that it's dark outside, just want to show you guys the final product. There you can see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and open the front door. The only complaint I have is that the light does cut off kind of abruptly as you can see, but I bet you if I trimmed off some of this plastic underneath the dash to let it kind of come out a little bit further, it would get rid of that. So um, I might do that, just this little itty bitty lip right here. I might trim some of that. Come over here to the passenger side show you that and again none of the leds are visible whatsoever if i go to the front seat and we look backwards that's not the led strip that you are seeing that is just the light reflecting off of the seat you cannot see the led strip on the back where it is underneath the seats Well guys, let me know what you think of this. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. But that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.